Well, happy 3rd of November. It's a little before 4 p.m. Uh, dreary November day. I'm not going to call it dreary. I just did, but it it's a little uh, little mist here and there, a little rain once in a while, but and it's chilly. But you know what? It's still good. Uh, still semi dry. There, the cattle are happy. I'm just giving a little water. Um, speaking of my water, people ask me how I do my water. So it's just a 35 gallon little portable tank that I fill up. Uh, you can kind of see the silo sort of up in that direction, and then drive it down here and. Uh, I just totally unscrew this here and then the water comes out uh, real easy, of course gravity fed. And uh, it takes about four of these tanks here to fill up this 150 gallon tank. And they will go through this whole tank in a day, roughly. Uh, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. A little less today, there's a lot of moisture out in those corn stalks and the, the hay, that black cow over there still eating on the hay so uh, you notice the difference in the moisture when you get a little sprinkles but like now they just kind of I don't think that they're cold but they just sort of get in a circle there to keep themselves semi protected I've seen the calves kind of get in the middle of all that and so far so good um, with this with this system here and with the um, with the weather and everything, this is, uh, my guess is even if they had a choice to go in some sort of shelter, they would not. Uh, in fact, I know they wouldn't because my yearlings have access to it and one walked in, licked a little mineral and went back out. As long as they can uh, get stuff to eat and they don't get drenched there, usually, they usually prefer outside. Um, so I have a a video that I did actually yesterday with my um, their sunglasses but they have a video camera in them when I because I was riding copper one of my horses kind of did a little tour here so that will be coming soon it'll be coming after this one but it was done yesterday the second of November but our inner uh, internet out here is um, it's tricky it used to be pretty good but uh, it's not anymore so I usually have to uh, and that one required a little editing because of the using the glasses and so I had to put it together and then I'm gonna wait to upload it tonight when there's I should say overnight when there's a little less traffic on the internet so I got all my manure spread feel good about that um, generally I, in fact I always spread in the spring but um, I kind of have an abundance of it. I spread some on this field here. It's a newer, it's across the creek there, across the other side from these trees. There's a little seven acres there, and I've been spreading on that because it's a, I think this is what the second season of growth on that for new uh, grass. It's been hay, but if I could figure out how to get them on it, I would make it pasture. In fact, I might even put on it now um, if I could figure out a bridge and or if I if I had the guts to run them up on the road across the culvert which is only I don't know they'd only have to be on the road like maybe 30 feet but and this road's really really quiet but you know it never fails when you're trying to get something done that's when all of a sudden there'd be some cars and uh, off to the right there towards the south there's a bit of an incline and the driveway sits at the low spot in that hill and so it is people get boy i mean sometimes i swear they're going 60 or better and it is uh it's tricky one time i i, I didn't mean to but i kind of pulled out in front of someone because they were going so fast that when i looked there was nobody coming by the time i pulled out i was committed they had to slow down but oh well they need to slow down so I might do that, um, or I might just leave it because that hay, that ground wasn't really that great this year. It wasn't very productive, and I don't know if I really want to switch them back to grass now. They wouldn't be on it a whole, a whole lot, and then if the weather, yeah, just kind of 
just kind of thought my th way through that one. <laughs> if anything, I might just lead some horses out there and make some portable fence. Uh, but again, if I just leave, leave the grass and keep it longer, it's got better coverage for the cold and everything like that. It'll capture more snow, which is good. So I probably won't do that now I think of it. I've got a long way to go on this field for corn yet. I'll just keep moving them. I'm going to probably move them here in a, as soon as I've done filling up this. But uh, it's, it's working well. Um, it's a little heavy on this four-wheeler, there's no doubt, but I've been doing it for several seasons. Um, when I get more cattle and I can kind of justify making a above-ground water line, that's what I'm going to do. It's a fairly inexpensive way of going compared to digging it you just leave it above ground and it works out well because the the water line would end probably here or I might uh, run it off well I don't worry about later but so you got a nice gravity system where when it's time to drain all the water because you need to drain it before winter before it freezes and it would it would uh, be hard on the water lines if it froze but at least I have a nice natural link um, decline here Is that the right word the hill it runs down it runs downhill so that's good it can drain the water uh, and then I have a hydrant up on uh, which I never that was just luck that I made that I made a when they put in the automatic water I had them put a hydrant there I would do that probably from now on that way if you're my uh, automatic water if it would fail or something in the middle of winter at least I still have a frost free hydrant to to run water so uh, that's in the works and then I would not need this portable water probably at all um, I would just have little hookups as I run the as I run the paddocks down but anyway that's what I'm doing right now it works fine you know four trips a day that's not a big deal in the summer, of course, sometimes it's it's double of that, so that gets gets time consuming. Takes you know four or five minutes to fill it up. Probably takes three four minutes to to dump it, and then of course the travel time. The driveway is a total of a not quite a half mile, and then, but it's I only have to come down about three quarters of the way. But um, and again, it's it's a little probably too much on the suspension of this four wheeler, but uh, it's not on it very long. So it's nice to see them going back to that hay or sticking with the hay, uh, especially when the sprinkles come that they don't just uh, you know, forget about it and walk all over it. So pretty content little herd. That's a good thing. Um, so yeah, a little uh, November rain. Oh, sorry, buddy. Too fast movements.